to like and subscribe. Hey guys, it's Imki here. And today we're playing Death Must Die. Now you may be wondering, what's going on with my voice? I have a terrible, horrible cold. <coughs> but yeah, so this is the game we're going to play today. Um, totally never played it before. Totally don't have a game going already. Totally don't have all the characters unlocked or anything. D d definitely none of that. Um, yeah. Um, this is one of those those games where you kind of just run around and fight enemies and everything attacks for you. You know, you know the ones. Vampire survivors, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and we're going to play as a Averon. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're loading up. Now, for those who don't know or are unsure, this game is a mix of uh, vampire survivors. You know, an auto auto battler. I guess not an auto battler. A um, I don't know, an auto shooter. Um, however, unlike vampire survivors and other ones, it does come with an inventory. You get permanent items that you get to use, and like the game Hades. You meet gods who give you abilities. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So this is Mort, Daughter of Death. And I think I'm going to go with this one. Because it gets more experience. Now there are things to collect on the map. Like the Stone of Stamina. Ooh, I can run faster now. Wow, look at me. And if you look closely, you can see little blue shards appearing. Those are my extra, extra XP. I got a war totem. My damage has increased permanently. And I've leveled up. So once I level up, um, you know, I get to basically choose. And since I've only met the one god, I have to go with these ones. Um, It looks like the one I picked before is going to become upgraded. So I'll, I'll take that one, a better quality. And yeah, you know, I've been I've been really sick lately, and my voice has just taken a real real beating. It's been real tough. Um, yeah, you know. And honestly, this I've had this video, you know, in in the background for for months now. But you know, I was terrified to release it because I just just don't sound like me in it. You know, just don't sound like me at all. But anyways, so we're gonna see how far we can get today. Um, let's see. Let's go with sickles. Sickles sound cool. Yeah, hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess the point of the game is we're trying to kill death. So we'll we'll see how good that goes. You know. All right. Wow, those are actually really really good. Doing wonderful. They just they're just gonna keep coming. And also, for some reason, of I've, I've lost my ability to commentate as as well as I normally would. It's crazy. I'm gonna go with Fury because attacking faster is always cool. Especially because some abilities are based on attacks. So the more attacks you get out per second, you know, the better. This guy's a boss or a mini boss. He's got a little crown on his head. Oh, I got an item. Check the items. Uh, 19.2% more adept otters. Offers? Otters. Uh, better otters. Um, it's better than the one I have already. So, I'm going to change it out. Sweet. So now when I do get, uh, when I level up, basically, I have a better chance of it being a better ability. Which, if you've played Hades, then, you know, it's usually, usually better. Um, because you can either A... Um, make an ability stronger, or get a new ability, or sometimes increase the rarity of the ability, which is always super good. But yeah, it's me, Emki Games. You know, the one you know and love. Totally. What do you think of the place? Right, right, Emki. <laughs> I mean, Digi, right, Digi? <laughs> yeah, Digi's laughing in the background. You know how he is. Sweet, so we're gonna up our sickles because why not? Oh, we leveled up again. Um, a frost ring appears that freezes. Frost zones spawn at random. Your attacks become stronger and chilled. Uh, 
Let's go with frostering. I like that. Alright, so we're doing good. Level 6 already. We're only 2 minutes in. That's that's pretty good. There's some health there in case we need it. I'm going to start wandering because um, I've used up all of the items in this area. Like the... Um, well, I'll show you. Um, basically, as you, as you travel outwards from the center, you'll run into more and more of the usable items. And they're, they're good to use because they give you other bonuses that you wouldn't normally have. For instance, if you go around the map and you collect them, you're you're going to have a better run than if you had not, because, I mean, you're just going to get better stuff. So this is a Gremlin Root House. I can have a teacup of coffee. A teacup of coffee. All right. Uh, heal 25 life, gain plus 50 attack speed and plus movement speed. That's temporary. Dash cooldown. That's okay. Uh, or 15 max health and heal. I'll take the max health. That's always good. Alright, and I go down this way. There's another one. Always good to get them, you know. Add some bonuses. Oh, this is a tomb with chainmail. Is it better than mine? Mine is a blue. This is... Can't even wear it. Alright, doesn't even matter. It's for a different character. That's pretty lame. Things are going to start getting tougher here. Lady Justice, huh? Um, a chance that my attacker becomes smited. What does that mean? Affected takes 30 damage and becomes stunned. Affected can't do anything. Store, uh, I'll go with that. Let's get that. Sure, why not? Why not? But yeah, I really like this game. Definitely. Probably going to play it a lot, totally, you know. Um, you know, when I get better and stop being sick. Uh, I mean, I've just been just horrible. It's really, really taken a toll on my voice. People say I sound like a completely different person. I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. And, of course, Digi's been sick, too, so, I mean, he just... Oh, you should hear him. Digi, you want to come say something? So they can hear how terrible your voice is? No, I'm good. Yeah, look, it's awful. Just truly, truly awful. But, yeah. So, we're going to see how far we get. I don't think I've ever beaten a run. But I have gotten pretty far before. So, we'll we'll see how it goes. But, yeah. You know. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to, to like it. Um, you can comment. D definitely don't forget to subscribe. Totally. Alright, so I'm going to use an alteration, which I believe changes what god I get from. Yes. So, now instead, I have a different god, the goddess of fate. I'm going to do fury, because I want to attack even faster. Um, because when you attack things, you also stun them, um, which obviously means that, you know, then they aren't going to be able to attack you as easily. So, and, uh... That's probably just the better way to go. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, let's get better sickles. You know what? Can't hurt, right? Now you can see we're attacking 25% faster. I don't even know if it's that noticeable, but, you know, it's okay. We are taking a little bit of damage here and there, but it's nothing too bad, nothing too bad. Alright, and we beat it. We beat that little, I don't know what you would call it, like, challenge thing. Uh, there's another item on the map, so we're going to go grab that. That'll be awesome. Oh, it's another boss right here. And a sacred tome. Um, so, basically, when a god offers you an ability, um, it's just going to be a normal. And as that quality goes up, I believe it's blue, then purple, then, you know, whatever, the better it is. The base stats of it get better, um, as opposed to just leveling the ability up. For instance, a white ability might have 10% at level 1. Oh, yeah, might have 10% um, on level 1, um, but a blue might have 20% level 1. So it's just, it's just better. 
So we want we want more blue things. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. This boss is beating me up. That's okay. Dangerous Amber of Seeking. That's terrible. We don't want that. Worst item. Right, already level 10. Five minutes in. We're doing great. We're doing great. Should I get all this XP? Yeah. And then sometimes gold. They drop gold. Oh, okay. So for instance, this is an upgraded version. So normally at this level, it would do 62 damage. I'm not leveling up the skill. I'm just changing the rarity. And that's just going to boost the damage it does right off the bat. If that makes sense. I hope it does. If not. Now I'm going to keep searching for items. Because they're very helpful. Let's see. Um, Clover Garden. Oh, I got more luck. I don't know what luck does. Um, I assume it has something to do with the rarity of, of things. But I, I honestly don't know. Oh. Shrine to the Mini-Handed One. Um... Spell projectiles. I don't know if that would work on my sickles, so I'm going to get attack speed, because why not? Attacking fester is always better. Especially because I think my sickles are based on how many attacks I do, so the more attacks I can get out in a period of time, the better. I got some dice. What, what are the dice? What are they for? Evasion. It's a relic. Do I have a relic? I don't. Okay, there we go. So now I have plus seven to evasion. Whatever that means. I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know how, how good that is. Leveled up. Um, Let's get a level five for the sickles, because why not? They're pretty good. All right. the, the ice is really nice, because it freezes the people, and they can't really hurt me. Doing good. Got to keep looking for items. Oh, there's one down here. Oh, I forgot. If you don't swing your weapon, you go faster. That's cool. A bookshelf. I'm sorry. What was that? The Lusty or Candyman? Lore. Sending mail. Tara. There's a mountain of invitations to be sealed. Or Candyman. I can help. Good at licking. Oh, my. Tara. It might take a long time. Or Candyman. No worries, ma'am. You will be satisfied with my work. Oh my! Oh, I, now it's a boss. Oh lord, you gotta be careful. These guys are tough. Oh no! Oh, and there's a barrier. That's okay. Shouldn't be too tough. We'll take care of it. Although I definitely need to get more spells. Um. I should probably get Chilling Strike, because at the moment my attacks don't do anything, and this would just up my attacks in general, so we'll go with that one. Alright, plus now my attacks should also freeze things, which is good too. Um, what is this belt? Is this belt good? My belt is way better. Alright, oh, 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 getting caught in the corner. I need to move. Alright, and just like that, boss is dead. Now, I could get more attack speed. I'm tempted to get evasion, though. Actually, I'm going to get the attack speed. What am I saying? I'm going to go even faster. And I don't really want any of these, so we'll change it. Um, Gain attack damage for each immobilized enemy. Well, since my attacks freeze people, that's pretty good, I think. Is this ring any better? No, it's not that great. Yeah. Good. We're doing good. Now, there's an item back up here that I want to get. So, we'll see what that is. But yeah, how's everybody's day going? Like I said, I'm, I'm horrifically sick, so I didn't even want to make this video, but just had to do it. You know. I know everybody's going to be like, yo, you don't sound the same, you know. But I promise, it's me. It's me. MK Games. Totally. Totally me. Playing the games that I normally play. Talking how I normally talk. Absolutely me. Oh, look, it's a chest with a ring that I can't pick up. Now, is there anything I want to drop? I'm going to drop anything that's not... 
Uh, actually. Oh, oh, I was looking around. I'm dropping anything that's not, like, blue. So, let's drop that. 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 Keep the book. Alright. There we go. I have some more space. Oh, look, a little boss guy. Now, because I froze him, I should do a little bit more damage. I don't know how much more, but hey. Okay. Oh, now we're starting to get a lot of enemies. Gonna keep looking for items, though. Mm -hmm. Keep looking for items. Yep. Definitely not running out of things to talk because I don't ever do this. Definitely not me. So if I get I get quiet, it's it's just because I'm sick. Shrine of the Swan. Uh, test virtues. It's just a dumb burn. Let's test virtues. Your heart is corrupt. What does that mean? Uh, okay. I don't know what that does. Regen. Death gives you reduced attack movement penalty for limited duration or armor. Um, I'm gonna get armor. That way, if, you know, if we do get hit, we're not just getting destroyed out here or anything. Oh yeah. Looks like while those guys were frozen, I was doing 100 damage as opposed to my 60 or whatever. Okay. So, it's a, it's a pretty okay increase. Oh. Okay. And now we got a lot of people coming in. Okay. That's good. Good XP. Oh, Lord. They're hitting me. These guys are tough. Oh, they're not that tough. Never mind. I lied. These guys are weak. Weak. And leveled up. Uh, armor increase, a better chance for them to become smited. Consecration, whenever an enemy damages you, you heal back a percentage of the damage you were dealt and deal the enemy's damage back to it, multiplied for reductions. That's pretty good. So whenever I take damage, I just kind of heal some of it back. That's, that's actually really good. Alright, gotta keep moving, looking for those items. Oh, oh, we got another boss here. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, no problem. That was easy. Easy. Um, I kind of want to get Blight. Let's get Blight. That way people are getting frozen, and that in turn means that I will do more damage. Without me having to necessarily attack them. So as people, as people are moving towards me, they can get frozen, and then I'll be able to do more damage to the things that are closer to me. The theoretically, that's that's the thought process here. Um, let's do frost ring, because why not? Oh, we got a couple of tough guys. That's fun. All right. All right. Oh, took some damage. That's okay. No big deal. See if we can find another item. Okay, these guys are tough. Getting tough. That's okay. Uh, what is this? Clover Garden, some more luck. We'll take it. A well. Oh, I got some more HP back. And there's a third one. Oh, he almost hit me. Whoa, things are getting ridiculous right now. Okay. Sweet, I leveled up. Let's see. What about Path of Frost? That way we're, we're always leaving some ice everywhere we go. More people immobilized, more damage. I like it. So these guys up here are like tougher versions. So a lot of the enemies that were bosses before um, can respawn again as normal enemies. Especially like the bigger bosses. Like the Skeleton Archer in the, the first time around, he wasn't, you know, that big. But, oh, that was a full heal. That was nice. Magnet Amulet of Magic. Is it any good? Um, I think mine's better. Yep. So, with a couple people frozen, looks like I do 106 damage. When nobody's frozen, I only do like 60, 48, something like that. It's green, 60 gold. Gold is important because um, in the main hub zone, you can buy items with it. Which is nice. You can either find items or you can buy them. Looks like my sickles do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, here we go. 
Um, let's make the ring bigger. Why not? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at that damage. Holy crap! Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, it took a little bit of damage there. Let's get these XP. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Holy crap. Oh, 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 need to get away a little bit. Grave. Oh, 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 this is not what I want. Oh yeah, when all those people freeze, I do like 500 damage. Okay. Um, Spawn ravens that attack enemies applying cursed. Or you raise skeletons when you kill a number. Let's let's get the skeletons. Why not? I'm killing a lot of things, so uh, lots of skeletons on my side. That's fine. Oh yeah. When things freeze, I do like 400 damage. That's crazy. Only problem is these guys hurt. Okay, so we're up to 12 minutes. I'm almost level 20. That's pretty good. Level 20. Um. Let's do Blight. Before it was making three patches of ice, now it should make four. Which is good. There's an item over here, I believe it's a chest. Yep, yeah, magnetic gloves. That's okay. They're not terrible. Oh, look how many skeletons I have. Holy crap, that's a lot of guys. They're all on my side. Uh, powerful Ron. Okay. Let's keep looking for items. They're always very helpful. Oh no, not these people. These guys are really hard to dodge. Now they're going to start spawning is cuz originally these guys were a mini boss. Oh man, look they're just beating the crap out of me. Oh, this isn't good. Oh no. They are just decimating me. This is very bad. All right, that one dropped a chest though. Your life has increased. Your attacks hit in a wider area. Okay. That's interesting. Like my arc, I assume. Um, I do dash a lot, so let's 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 up my dash since I haven't done it yet. Since we're doing the whole freezing build, oh, I got some got some HP there. So now when I dash, I'll also freeze people. That's good. All right, I got my next boss, the Necromancer. No big deal. I should do lots of damage because I got a lot of people frozen. Oh, he teleported. Okay. That's nice of him. Teleported again. Where did he teleport to? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. I see him over there. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at those damage. Look at the damage because all these people are frozen. Alright, there he is again. And he's dead. Wow. I got a lot of good items there. Okay. Um, Let's do Blight. So it's five patches. Now let's see these. Powerful Scimitar of Revision. Mythic. So, it's more damage. More dice. It also does lightning. Black lightning. Oh, that's way better. Okay, so we got that. And then what was the other thing we picked up? We picked up something. I believe it was these boots, which I can't wear, so that's fine. Apparently there's a chance that when I kill people, or not, not you know, uh, defeat enemies, lightning appears that does 666 six, six damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, can't wear the helmet. That's fine. Let's go see what this item is down here. Might be helpful. Oh, another bookshelf. Necromancer's journal. I kind of want that, so I'm going to drop the necklace. Oh, I need to find some HP quick. Because I am not doing well. Not doing well at all. I'm not doing terrible, but, you know, could be better. Um, let's reroll. I want something different. Um. Oh, these are terrible. Your spill area is increased. Oh, you know what? I'll go with that because I want my damage to go up. Okay. Let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find another heal. 
Red skeletons? I don't think I've fought red skeletons before. This might be the furthest I've ever gotten. Oh no, things are... Things are tough. Oh, there's HP right there. Okay, that didn't really do anything because <laughs> I immediately took a bunch of damage. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's no problem. Let's see if we can find another item. Kind of want to take care of these big guys because they give good XP. Which is what we need right now because it's the only way we get stronger. Okay, leveled up again. Um... Soul Stealers. Um, or do we want better skeletons? I kind of want Soul Stealers. Kind of. And also, I'm not seeing any more items. Oh, there's an item over there. Okay. What is this? Fallen here. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's something at least. Whoa, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Oh, and these guys are all... Uh-oh. This is very bad. This is very, very, very bad. Oh, no. One good hit and I am done. One good hit. Oh, no. This is... Oh, yep. And there we go. Well, that was my run. Uh, we did pretty good. You know? Pretty great, pretty great. Um, Digi, uh, how do I how do I normally end my videos? Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, and, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you think of this series. We might have it continue, or we might not. You may never hear from me, sick Emily, again. I'll see you in the next video. Next video to the next video to the next video to the next video.